Ukraine found solution to problem caused by Russian glide bombs. Surprises await the Russians. The Ukrainian defense forces may soon have an effective new type of weapon against Russian long-range guided aerial bombs, Ukrainian volunteer Serhii Praetula announced. Analysts from the military portal Defense Express assessed how possible this is. There is one specific technical solution that was thought up here in Ukraine. This new type of weapon is currently being tested and if it is successful, it will be put into production, said Praetula. Glide bombs are cheap. Russia is firing hundreds a week at Ukrainian targets at and behind the front lines. These bombs are small and difficult to spot on radar. They do not use propulsion or emit a detectable heat signature. Russian aircraft launch glide bombs dozens of miles behind the front lines in relative sanctuary. Analysts emphasized that there are currently only a few methods of possible counteraction to Russian glide bombs. The first is their destruction, for which, of course, an SAM system can be used, but it is impossible to call it effective. Moreover, the appearance of a Ukrainian anti-aircraft missile system would obviously have been announced somewhat differently. If not a SAM system, then the next candidate for the destruction of guided aerial bombs could be automated anti-aircraft installations such as ship-based Phalanx CIWS or its land-based version Centurion C-RAM which, by the way, Ukraine has repeatedly requested. But, as in the case of a SAM system, this is a full-fledged development that takes years and costs hundreds of millions of dollars, as the experience of Korea directly demonstrates. The report says, there are also alternative methods of disposal. The portal added combat lasers or directed microwave radiation. But all this, even in Western countries with gigantic budgets, did not reach the prototype stage as the British Dragonfire is an excellent example. In addition, as analysts noted, UABs can also be countered by jamming their satellite navigation, but it is difficult to call this a final solution. Therefore, it is entirely possible that we are talking about other methods of counteraction, the principle of which is not on the surface, the analysts concluded. Recall that earlier it was reported that Russian troops began using a new munition for strikes on Ukraine, which could change the situation on the ground. We are talking about the Fab 3000 M54. Business Insider said the munition could be highly destructive to Ukrainian military and civilian targets. Russian President Vladimir Putin and his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping met on Wednesday in Kazakhstan's Astana city where they are attending the summit of a security grouping created by Moscow and Beijing to counter Western alliances. The annual meeting held in Kazakhstan's capital Astana brings together the leaders of other countries that are members of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. The organization has firmly established itself as one of the key pillars of a fair, multipolar world order. Putin said, while hailing Moscow-Beijing ties that he said are at their best in history. Our cooperation is not aimed against anyone, we are not creating any blocks or alliances, we are just acting in the interests of our peoples, Putin said. In his opening remarks, she told Putin that China and Russia should uphold the original aspiration of friendship for generations, in response to an ever-changing international situation. Prior to Putin's arrival in Astana, Kremlin aide Yuri Ushakov stated, We believe that the SCO, as well as the second major association of BRICS, are the main pillars of the new world order, a locomotive in the context of establishing genuine multilateralism in world affairs. Set up in 2001 by Russia, China and Central Asian nations of Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan, the group aims to promote regional security and economic cooperation. It was later joined by India, Pakistan and Iran.